Hi and welcome, here is a new tutorial for Unreal Engine 4.15, the new feature blending animations in the sequencer. Here's a third person scene with this monster character and I will add a level sequence to it. Then the sequencer is opening up and I will add the monster as an actor to this sequencer. Here I found the monster and after I added this, you can see a transform and animation row added to the sequencer. Now the first thing I want to do is to add a key point for the current position and then move this character to a new position, like here. And a new key point is added automatically because I enabled the auto keys for the sequencer. Okay, that's not new, but now let's add the first animation. This is the walk animation and grab the handle on the right side to increase the size and preview the movement by scrubbing through the timeline. And now let's see how this will look like when we start the game. Press the play button. Now nothing happens. What we have to do is to select this new level sequence and set it to autoplay. Okay, here we go, great. Now let's add a new animation. I will choose here the smash animation and move this to the end of the first one but let it slightly overlap. Then move to the start of the second animation and add a key point. And for this key point set the weight to zero then to the end of the first animation, again add a new key point and set the weight to 1. And this is blending the first animation with the second one. Here you can see in the preview how it nicely blends from the walk to the smash animation. Okay, and now the last animation will be idle. Move the slider now to the position where the new animation should be added. Select the idle animation and here it is added at the correct position. Move it below the second animation, the smash animation and again at two key points. The first one with weight 0 and the second one with a weight of 1. So that we get the same blending as for the previous animation. Okay, now set the end of this sequence and start the game. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I really like it. Let's have a look at this with a better lighting setup. First I'm going to set a better angle for my view and then snap the camera to this view and now let's start it. Okay, I really hope you like this tutorial and my channel. If you do, please let me know and subscribe. And it would be also amazing if you could afford it to support me on my Patreon so that I have more time to create tutorials like this. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon on JNM.